So this is one of my all time favorite materials. And I'm so glad that many of you have received this and that I have received it as well, because I know how hard you all have worked on making your own decimal boards. But let's be honest, it's even better to have the actual decimal board with you at home. And the decimal board is going to be used for so many things, adding, subtracting, all sorts of decimal operations. But the first thing that we need to do is make sure that you all know how to read decimal numbers and that you can answer questions about decimal numbers. So for some of you, you've, got, you've been working on some of those decimal cards and you haven't been able to quite answer all of the questions, this having the board is really going to help you. Arush, I would love to see your face. I can just see your hair. There you go, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and we're gonna take a look at my decimal board. Can you guys see that? Yes? Yeah. Okay, shoot, I don't have my um, King George crown, but what do we have here in the middle that is really the ruler of all in the middle and the most important, Michelle? The unit, yes, the unit, which can be the king or the queen of the entire decimal hierarchy. And if you want at home, you could make a little crown. Some, I talked to some of you about it. You could make a little crown to put at the top of your unit there. I'm gonna make a little crown myself or maybe have William make it. And then what do you have after this unit? When you go, if you're looking at the board, it goes to the right. I'm just gonna, Scroll down my list of people. Cassin, what is this called? Um, a. Um, well, look at the board, Cassin. What is this called? Uh, what number is this? Ten. Ten. So then add f on to ten. What do you get? Ten hundred. No, take the word ten and just add oh, f. 100. No, listen. Take the word 10. Say 10. 10. Then add the th onto it. 10. Tenth. Exactly. This is a 10th. Michelle, what's next? A hundredth. Hundredth. Good. John. Sa thousandth. Thousandth. I'm so glad you all aren't here with me in person because I would be spitting all over you. Locke, what's next? Ten thousandth. Ten thousandth. Yes, Wyatt, what's next? I think that, I can't tell. Well, Wyatt, what comes after 10,000, or what comes after, ooh, hold on. Yes, oh. what comes after 10,000? What, what comes next? 100,000. 100,000. So we have 100,000. Thousandth. Thousandth. Th, th. Thousand. Yes, 100,000. It's hard to say. And then finally, Freddie, what do we have? A million. Your million. Th. Millionth. Can you say it again? Million. Good. It still sounds like million to my ears. <laughs> Let me ask you guys a question. If you get stuck, there's something that you can do. Obviously, you can do the little trick that I showed Cassin is you can look at 10 and think 10th, 100th, 100th, 1,000th, 1,000th, 10,000th, 10,000th, 100,000th, 100,000th, 100,000th million millionth but let me ask you a question how many zeros are in the number 10 kieran how many zeros are in the number number 10 one one isla how many zeros do you see on the board for a tenth one one all right hmm so is there a little pattern there okay so lock how many zeros are in 100 Two. Two. Cassin, how many zeros do you see here for the hundredth? Two. Two. Look at that. Remember when we did that mirror, mirror lesson, or we tried to, and it didn't really work very well? Well, I think you can maybe see now what we were trying to get at. 
Okay, let's look at one more. For 10,000, Isla, how many zeros are in 10,000? Four. Four. So using that logic, Wyatt, how many zeros will there be in 10,000? Um, 10,004? Yeah, four. Definitely. Okay, so one of the first things that you all might want to do, if you haven't done this yet with the other boards that you made, is you might want to write out all those words and label them. Unit, tenth, hundredth, thousandth, so on and so forth. That can be one step that you do. But remember, we've been working really, really hard on trying to read decimal numbers. So that's what I want us to look at also today. So I'm gonna go back and share my screen and we're gonna look at this board. And remember, I told you you got this awesome box filled with cubes in it. Yes, and the cubes correspond to the numbers on the board. The cubes correspond to the numbers on the board. And what do you notice about the colors on the board as you get smaller? Because a millionth is certainly smaller than a unit. What do you notice, Elia? That the color lightens up. It lightens up. And what happens as it gets bigger? Lock. As it gets larger? As it gets larger, it gets it gets darker. You're exactly right. All right, so you're going to be able to see that with the cubes that you have as well, with the cubes that you have in your box. So in your box, this is hard for me to do. <laughs> in your box, all the way on the right, you have a millionth, okay? And you can put it there in the column. You have a 100,000th. You have a 10,000th. You have a thousandth. You have a tenth or many, you have many of these. And you have, oops, I said 10th, I meant 100. And you have a 10th, okay? And we are really gonna take advantage of these wonderful materials to practice reading decimal numbers. To practice reading decimal numbers. <sighs> Does anybody think they could read what number we have here? Does anybody think they could read what number we have here? So it would look one, 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 one. One, 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 one. Write that number down, write that number down. Get whatever piece of paper you have nearby. Hopefully you have your math journal. But write one, 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 one. Who can tell me how you would read that number just as a regular number? Don't even think about it as a decimal number. How would, what would that number sound like if it was just a whole number and you were reading it? Okay, Locke, tell me. 111,000, wait, 111,111. Good. Now let's try to leave out that and because in the future, when we have whole numbers and decimal numbers, we're going to be putting an and in there to represent that decimal point. So 111,111. Awesome, Mock. And then all you need to do now is add what category it's in. What decimal category does it end up with? Lock. Hundred thousandths? No, that's not hundred thousandths. That's that light green at the oh, end. That, that's million. Millionths. Exactly. So the answer is 111,111 millionths. So guys, all you have to do is just read it like a regular number and then say what category it's in. So this is going to be really fun to practice, okay? I'm going to mix it up a bit. All right, who thinks they want to try that one? There's your blue hand, and you can even write this down. As you're getting the, the hang of it, write down one, two, three, and your math, one, two, two, sorry, write down one, two, two in your math book. All of you can read that number. All of you can read the number one, two, two. Wyatt, what is that number, one, two, two? Wyatt, 
122,000. You're right. Oh, you got the whole thing. 122,000. 